Okay, today we are here in Velo Café magazine for the launch of a, a new team, a junior team uh, in Northern Ireland, the uh, Powerhouse Sport junior team. And talk to Peter Ward, Peter Ward from uh, Strabane, who will be the DS of the team. What is it all about, Peter? Well, Danny, I think it's, it's about bringing juniors coming out of youth, uh, and along with some second year juniors, bringing them together collectively, because whenever they move on to A3, then, you know, it's, it's a different ball game. Uh, bringing them together as a team, and to bring them together as a team, you need sort of writers of an ability. And I think we have assembled writers of quite a good ability that can actually complement one another. They can race well as a team. They've proved that they can race well as a team, be it in, you know, in others, be it provincial teams or in Irish teams, which we're fortunate that the team's made up of people of like mind. Uh, and it's a very exciting uh, opportunity, both for the writers themselves and for everybody that's associated with it. And I think the people that have become associated with it, it's exciting to see that they can see the potential, you know, the ambition, the quality of the people that's involved with it. So 2017 should be good, and I keep using the word exciting, but, uh, you know, genuinely I, I am excited, and as most of the people associated with it. Peter, I've just looked around here, uh, got some information uh, about this team. This is a very good pro setup uh, and very good news for uh, the whole of Ireland, not only for Ulster, but for the whole of Ireland. Uh, what, Peter, just in, in, in a short, because we cannot have too much time about this, but who are the main sponsors and the people behind this? Uh, well, I suppose whenever, <clears throat> whenever I sort of always had a notion or a vision that, you know, moving from youth and the junior, it's always good to be sort of associated with the team. Uh, Powerhouse, I had no one Gareth, and whenever I approached him with the thought that maybe it'd be something that w would be a good fit for his company, and Gareth went away with that, and he came back with obviously Velo Cafe Magazine as one of the major sponsors, and then through their connections, Parley Cycles, uh, you know, and that in itself says volumes about you know what their belief is, and again how Gareth and Velo Cafe Magazine sort of seen it, that they could get a brand such as Parley on board, you know, Salise, glasses, helmets, physique shoes, uh, kit brick, you know, for their kit bags, and OT as in one of the, the race food providers and nutrition providers. So again, whenever we sort of approached these people, told them who was involved, told them what our thoughts and visions were, and how we wanted to be progressing this, they instantly, they could see value in it, and hopefully we can repay that, and the guys on the bikes, which is the most important people, can repay it. Well, uh, Peter, uh, we, as the Belgian Project, will definitely support this. This is great news, uh, and it, it is all to do with development as well. Uh, it's great to see this because uh, in club level you cannot reach this sort of things, you know, uh, it's impossible because a club has many more members, you know, yeah. this is different, this is collectively just juniors and by God you have the best juniors of the land in this, or most of the best juniors in the land, the rest is in France or Belgium, you know, but uh, they will be very, very soon follow their steps as well. Well done Peter, well done to uh, Powerhouse Sport uh, uh, junior team, uh, well done to everybody involved. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. And now we talk to Sean McGreevy from Velo Cafe magazine, one of the main uh, principal sponsors of the, of, of, of the youth or junior team uh, of Powerhouse Sport, and uh, ask him a, a few questions about, you know, why he's involved. Sean, first of all, great job. Uh, I'm amazed. Uh, I'm feeling like I'm in Belgium because there's more Ridley here than anything else, but also Parley here as well. You know, so it's a great job. But why are you involved in this, Sean? Um, Garth and I, uh, through Garth's help uh, through Powerhouse in the Ross, the last few years, kind of talked, and our dream was to sort of help a team or put some back in. I've raced for 30 years, and I just I, I'd like to put some back into. A junior squad or a developing squad. Uh, we don't have a massive checkbook, so basically we we spoke to Parley, 
and they give us a, mm. a very good deal on some bikes uh, to help out the kids, so they're kind of spoiled. And Gareth said, thanks, I'll have some of that. And uh, we, we just, it, it came together. I didn't believe it. It was a few months back, but uh, it's been good. So far, so good. It's good to put some back in. I got so much out of cycling personally, so it's good to get some back in. So you will be building the bikes actually here? Yes, we will. Uh, the frames are coming. They come straight from the States, so they're coming here. Um, we'll be building them up and then professionally bike fitting them with Retool, all the guys. And then Joe, um, he'll be building all the wheels. They're all hand-built wheels out of the shop. So, yeah. And some tyre sponsor, too, will be supplying tyres. So, it's all good. That's a hell of a sponsorship, you know, and uh, very be, be, be jealous of getting that, even uh, in my project. I would be jealous in one way of getting that, but I'm not a team, you know, but uh, it's it's great to see that, Sean. Uh, I, I, uh, I remember you helping me out once, uh, and uh, I, I always remember that, and that's one of the reasons that I'm here as well, to support you. Thank you. Um, yeah, back then we, we didn't, didn't give you much help, but we did what we could. Uh, we were a lot smaller then. Thankfully, we're growing bigger, and I think, you know, I think people, people respond to people who put some back into the sport. So hopefully, we get a, a bit of a buzz or a return off it. Worst case, if the kids do well, I'd be proud and happy. So that's it. As long as they do the best they can and represent Powerhouse, Parley, and Velo Cafe, I'd be fine. They look like a really good team, a nice bunch of youngsters. So. Um, Hopefully, this encourages more companies to, to back some teams and some sport teams. So that's the way forward. You you know how it works, Danny. You know. Uh, well, you have our support with the Belgian project because things like that are great to see. Uh, collectively, this is a strong team. I, I, I actually be jealous uh, because of the caliber of Lacha have. If they do the same as 2016 and 2017, but collectively, my God, they win everything. I think, yeah, I think that they work together. Um, they were great director, so I think um, without being an old man, uh, as long as they work together and go for the win for the team, then that's the main thing. But um, they've all got their own individual strengths, some great sprinters, there's great time trialists and some great climbers, you know. Um, I just, uh, I wouldn't want to be racing with them, not put it that way. Yeah. Uh, well, I've noticed there's no prima donnas in the team. They're a, a team. No, we, we spoke about that, and uh, my worry and my concern was uh, I didn't want, as you say, prima donnas or um, guys that perhaps we don't want to associate with the brand, you know. So these are all level headed uh, guys, they're all still in school, things are going well, and hopefully one or two of them make it to Belgium and, uh, you know, do some racing in the future. The main thing is they enjoy their sport and um, do it with sort of dignity and. Uh, you know, I think they're already representing their country, so hopefully they do that again. And uh, you know, we maybe get our name on TV once or twice. You never know. Sure, we tried that. You will be on YouTube already, anyway. Yeah. Sure. So it's 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 a start. It's a start yeah. Thanks very much, Sean, for talking to us. Uh, it was yeah. brilliant and well done for what you do. And good luck with the Belgian project this year. You do a lot of work for them, so um, a lot of guys owe you. <laughs> a couple of beers, I'm sure. You know. Well, when they're old enough to give me a beer, I will drink it. <laughs> I've got some downstairs. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. Thanks.